Hello, it's Jim from JetsonX.com. Today we are going to install the Speech AI Reva SDK on a NVIDIA Jetson developer kit. With the Reva SDK, you can build on-device conversational speech applications. We are going to install the Reva SDK and the Python client for Reva. Then we will run a couple of examples of speech recognition and text-to-speech synthesis. Before we get started, make sure that you have PIP installed. If you are using a Judson or a Nano developer kit, make sure that you have upgraded the QSPY memory. Reva is currently in beta on the Jetsons. Some of the directions here may change before release. Finally, Reva runs on the Jetson Orin and Xavier family of processors. You will need to be running Jetpack 5 or above. You can get the links and commands in this video in the description below. Let's wander over to the Reva Quick Start Guide. We scroll down a little bit. Our first task is to edit the Docker daemon file. We need to set our default runtime to NVIDIA. This is a JSON file, so we have to add the comma, and then we add the line with default runtime. Make sure to save the file. Let's close that up. Now restart the Docker service for the changes to take effect. NGC is where NVIDIA warehouses their AI cloud services. To access NGC, you need to have a free developer account. After signing up, get a NGC developer key. I'll leave a link to a NVIDIA video on how to do that. We will use the key to access the NGC catalog. Back to the Reva Quick Start Guide. Let's grab the command for downloading the NGC CLI tool. We switch over to the CLI install page. Click ARM64 Linux. Scroll down the page a mite. And then we execute the commands in order. First, we download the tool. Then we compare the checksum. Then we place our tool in the command path. Finally, we enter our NGC credentials. You will be asked several questions. Now we are ready to start downloading Reva. Downloading Reva and the models takes about one hour. Now we switch over to the Reva directory. Before we download the rest of Reva and the models, let's set up our configuration. We'll edit the config.sh file. Make sure that you have the correct Tegra platform. The default is for Orin. Change it to Xavier if that's what you're using. Let's enable automatic speech recognition and text-to-speech. We'll turn off natural language processing and neural machine translation. That's for the purposes of our demo later and we make sure that we save our hard work. With that out of the way, we can run our init script. You need to run the script using sudo, which is a change from the documentation, and you will also need your API key. The Reva server runs in a Docker container, so we add ourselves to the Docker group. Password. It's a permissions thing. Let's update the groups and take a look at them. There's the Docker group. Now we can start installing the Python client for Reva. We pip install test resources. We installed the port audio development libraries. We use this to support our sound devices. Then we install the Python port audio interface. Then we add ourselves to that audio group. That way we don't have to fiddle around with permissions. Let's make sure we can see the group. There it is. Let's go back up to our home directory. Scroll down the page a little. On the NVIDIA-REVA account on GitHub, there is a repository named Python Clients. Let's clone that repository and switch over to that repository's directory. Let's make sure we grab all the submodules. Now we can install the Python requirements. The requirements.txt file lists all of the dependencies that are needed to run the project. Now we're ready to build our wheel file. Once the wheel is finished building, we are ready to install it. To finish up, we pip install the NVIDIA Reva client.
Installation complete. Let's start up the Riva server. We'll switch back over to the Riva directory and run the Riva start script. This will take several minutes to load the first time. There's a lot of memory pressure when you're using both of these models. In this case, we're using almost seven gigabytes of RAM. Time to run a couple of examples. First up is text-to-speech. It's in the script slash TTS directory. The name of the script is talk.py. There are a large number of parameters that we can set for the script. We can pass the help flag to see them. Take a look at those in your leisure time. Now we do a quick test. Play the audio of this text in the default female voice. Testing. One, two, three, testing. I'm recording it from a speaker, so it sounds a little bit odd. Let's switch over to the default male voice. We just change female to male here. Testing. One, two, three, testing. Well, that's a little weak. Where's James Earl Jones when I need him? I'm very disappointed in you. Let's try something a little longer. In the world today, we humans face a particular predicament. As soon as our schooling ends, we suddenly find ourselves thrown into the work world where people can be ruthless and the competition is fierce. That's interesting. It mispronounces predicament. We switch over to the male voice. In the world today, we humans face a particular predicament. As soon as our schooling ends, we suddenly find ourselves thrown into the work world where people can be ruthless and the competition is fierce. This is pretty fun. Let's do a couple more. In any case, those who are truly original and different do not need to make a great show of it. Be extra wary of those who go out of their way to make a show of their difference. In any case, those who are truly original and different do not need to make a great show of it. Be extra wary of those who go out of their way to make a show of their difference. This concludes the test for the Jets and Hacks warning network. If this had been a real emergency, we would be instructed to do something unreasonable. This concludes the test for the Jets and Hacks warning network. If this had been a real emergency, we would be instructed to do something unreasonable. Let me switch mics here and switch over to the ASR directory. Let's try the transcribing program. Okay. It is transcribing. I will read you a motivational poster. It might take me a couple of times. We all watched the television coverage just yesterday. That's on top of everything else that we know and don't know yet based on what we've just been able to see. And because we've seen it or not, doesn't mean it hasn't happened. That looked pretty good. Let me read something a little bit different. The rigid rationalist. All of us have irrational tendencies. It is the lasting legacy of our primitive origins. We will never get rid of them. We are prone to superstitions, to seeing connections between events that have no connection. We are fascinated by coincidences. We anthropomorphize and project our feelings onto other people and the world around us. We secretly consult astrology charts. The Laws of Human Nature. It does a really good job. Pretty amazing. Let's take a look at our memory. You can see we're using 6.8 gigabytes. We've used a little bit of swap here. I think if you're developing, it would benefit using a larger system like a, or an AGX or a Xavier AGX, so just so you have more memory. And certainly you want to train other voices on a workstation or in the cloud. It's a pretty good little demo. Hey, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.